Welcome to the November 18th, 2011 edition of Inside Rensselaer, about the people, programs, and events at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. Scientists within the New York Center for Astrobiology have located areas in outer space that have extreme potential for complex organic molecule formation. What they've discovered is that methanol, a key ingredient in the synthesis of organic molecules, is most abundant around a very small number of newly formed stars. There's a sweet spot in the physical conditions surrounding some stars that accounts for the large discrepancy in methanol formation in the galaxy. Copper's days are numbered, and a new study at Rensselaer could hasten the downfall of the ubiquitous metal in smartphones, tablet computers, and nearly all electronics. A team of researchers discovered that they could enhance the ability of graphene to transmit electricity by stacking several thin graphene ribbons on top of one another. The study brings industry closer to realizing graphene nanoelectronics and is good news for technophiles seeking smaller, faster devices. Nick Lauren, a native of Calgary, Canada, is looking forward to graduation in May 2012. The senior, majoring in mechanical engineering, decided to spend his final semester at a study abroad program at Victoria University in Australia, where he and a crew of friends will ride from Melbourne to Cairns, roughly 1,800 miles, to raise funds for Athletes for a Cure, a program of the Prostate Cancer Foundation. At reunion in October, two freshmen were each paired with an alumnus to compete in a game of Jeopardy against Watson, the new IBM supercomputer. Watson is an innovative computer that can answer questions in a coherent language with accuracy and speed. And during family weekend, the Rensselaer community gathered to celebrate and honor the academic achievements of more than 320 faculty members and students at the 2011 Honors Convocation. Parents, family, and friends looked on as Rensselaer medalists, students with a 4.0 GPA, undergraduate awardees, graduate fellowship awardees, and faculty members were honored during the ceremony. More than 900 Rensselaer faculty and staff were able to learn more about 2012 benefits at the annual Benefits Fair and Faculty and Staff Appreciation Day event. More than 40 benefits vendors participated, providing attendees with an opportunity to learn more about specific programs, ask questions, have fun, and win prizes. Experts from around the globe came together at Rensselaer at the Baruch 60 Center for Biochemical Solar Energy Research to discuss the development of technologies that run on the cleanest and safest energy production process on Earth, photosynthesis. Two undergraduate students, both members of the RPI Ballroom Student Club, have turned their love of swing dancing into a business opportunity. Last month, founders and dancing partners Orion Rowe and Emily McKnight hit the dance floor with new recruits and seasoned swing dance veterans with the opening of the Swing Syndicate, a new dance studio located in the heart of Troy. The 2011 Liberty League Fall All-Academic Team has been announced and 66 Rensselaer student-athletes have been honored. Student-athletes must have a minimum GPA of 3.2 to be selected. The fall sports include men's and women's cross country, field hockey, football, men's golf, and men's and women's soccer. And that's it for this edition. For these stories and more, go to www.rpi.edu slash about slash inside.